Joint RPS will relay uh, your APRS data over Computer network. And so this is the commercial antenna from Arrow Antenna, uh, Alan Lowe. Um, he's back in production. For those who are familiar what's going on, he's back in production. His wife had a stroke, uh, uh, a heart attack on August 28th. He's down for a while. His wife is back home, doing well, and he's starting to, to produce again. Also with us up here is Ray of Elk Antenna, the long periodic. A, a marvelous black cock finish, which I love. Uh, they're good for working on two years old for me to sound like those. Uh, it broke the horizon. <laughs> now, normally, you know, back five years ago, I'd be right now pointing my antenna down there, but there's no, there's no reason to right now. We've got to uh, And low power, especially, please don't hear mic until you hear something on something being transmitted. You might have one side. Program directly, wait until you hear something before you transmit. Uh, and you, on the 440 side only, the receive side only, you need to accommodate a little bit of the software. Uh, my mnemonic device is acquire above. Acquire the signal a little bit above the published frequency. So it's coming down on 435 300, 435.300. So I've also programmed dot 305 and dot 310 in my handheld, uh, and that's where we'll start capturing it. The workshop is at 9 o'clock tomorrow, right here in the San Ramon room. It is not on your calendar event, although I was the first speaker that was set up for this event eight months ago. Things got screwed up in the proofing, but it's 9 o'clock in the San Ramon room tomorrow morning. We'll have a uh, fast-paced, fun hour. The handheld I'm using, oh, it's horribly esoteric, horribly expensive. The ASU FT60. Thousand memories, bulletproof case design, strongest belt clip of any HT chassis on the market. Easy to read display, a thousand memories, receives 108 to a gig, and a 189.95. It is, it is preferable that you work the FM satellites in full duplex mode, where you can hear the downlink as you see the mic on the uplink. But there is no currently available handheld that is true full duplex, being, being defined as keying the mic on band A and being able to monitor band B. The Alinko DJG7 is the only one that does that, but it's gruesome on subband receive sensitivity for what we're doing. So there is no, I mean, your tri band THF6 is a dual band, dual receive, but not duplex radio. 10 degrees up, oh my god, oh my god. So I am just doing it uh, like your local repeater. You don't intentionally step on someone, you wait for a break in the action, and then announce yourself. That's what I'm just stepping. You've had, you've had two short days, you can step. <laughs> Safety goggles. Yeah. 
you're monitoring, I'll uh, longer than 10, a 435.310 right now. 435.310. Delta Mike 26, this is Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie Sierra, Charlie Mike 97, Pacific Con. Delta Mike 26 unit, this is Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie Sierra, Charlie Mike 97, demo. Las Vegas, loud and clear. Good evening. Uh, you're right, you're calling in. Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie, Sierra, at the AWRL convention for Central California. Okay, so what was it like? Uh, Charlie, Mike, 9-7. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Charlie, Nancy, 9-4. Where is that, please? I am in Central Oregon, Nice to hear you on the QRP side here. Awesome. We're running two watts. Yes, two watts. You know the story. I'm, I'm preaching to the choir. Thank you very much. You sound great. Okay, let's go to the other repeater. Uh, I just went to the other repeater. What's their altitude, please? 46, 47 degrees. Yes, Thank you, Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Charlie Mike 97, demo. Oops, oops. Portable unit, this is Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie Sierra, Charlie Mike 97, demo. It's going to be crazy tomorrow with the uh, Boy Scouts. It's Jamboree on the air this weekend, and it's going to be it's going to be crazy tomorrow trying to get it. It's, it's very exciting. So you see how the background noise is it dropped down? It's as wide as a repeater, practically. Which bird? Which bird? Pardon? Which bird? 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 Where are we now? Nine zero. Nine zero. Kilo six. Lima. Charlie. Sierra. Charlie. Where are we? Charlie. Mike. Nine seven. Kilo six. Lima. Charlie. Sierra. Charlie. Mike. Nine seven. Handheld. Give me an approximate city state, please. Montana? It can't work that far. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it cannot work all the way to Montana. It just is not possible. Thank you. <laughs> Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. We've got about 400 people here uh, in Charlie Mike 9-7. It's a new glass. I, I think I see 400 people. I'll record these, a little pocket recorder, because there's yeah. no way you can, I can, let's see, there's one no hand, way. two yeah. hand, uh, yeah, three hand, yeah. four hand, there's no, yeah, so, uh, uh, by the time, if we were to have a session right now, there'd be QSL cards for us yeah. waiting on ECFL on the internet. Oh, so I'm really, really into, into QSL, and so, uh, uh, Kilo 6, yeah. Lima, Charlie, Sierra, Charlie Mike, 9-7, Pacific Con. It's a actually uh, QRP machine. Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Charlie Mike, 9-7, handheld. The secondary repeater is to be... 
Um, this is Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie Sierra, Charlie 97, handheld. Delta Mike 18, you are loud and clear. Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie Sierra, Charlie Mike 97. Delta Mike 13, Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie Sierra, uh, Charlie Mike 97. Delta Mike 18, you're loud and clear. Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie Sierra, Charlie Mike 97. That, that kid in Delta Mike 13 is, um, is new. Charlie Mike 97, hey, we're here too. Someone just called us from, uh, yeah. Charlie Mike 97 unit, this is Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie Sierra. What's that attitude? Uh, we have about 400 people out here in the parking lot. This is great. <laughs> so where did we go? We went to Montana, Oregon, Vegas, 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 and Oregon. Yeah. Not too shabby, too wide. Uh, Not a little better, a little better. Anybody here? Pardon? Anyone in California? Yes, right through right here. Starting like 970. It is not unusual. It is not unusual for the country. I didn't say counties. I didn't say cities. Friends in Mexico here and then two of them are from two wives on a 45 or 53 pounds. The first time I did that, I walked away and I turned the litter and hit me. Whoa! Whoa! Those aren't contest in countries, but they're unique countries. How do you use it for radio? It's really expensive, esoteric, outlandishly bizarre. By programming five channels, four three five got mm. three hundred, and then my 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 the project device is this wire above, so I'm wired a little bit above, so I program three hundred, but also got three hundred five and got three ten on the four forty side. No doubt there are corrections necessary on two meters, there's only about six kilohertz chain uh, of yeah. on the two meters side, but almost 20 kilohertz no, I on the 45 degree pass <laughs> and then the converge with 440. So you've got a thousand memories for these machines, low at 5 mm, 435 about 300, and 305 and 310, acquired up there, worked in, and then it's just the same, 295 and 290. You just do it manually then? Yeah, just put, just put back, that's how you just put back, 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 back. This is, uh, this is audio amplifier, oh, oh, no, no okay. RF. Oh, okay. My, my pattern is not. Complete instructions on how to do this yourself. The next 48 hours are at k6lcs.com. Kilo 6, Lima, Charlie, Sierra.com. Just look for the work the satellites button on my website. There's a four page tutorial <laughs> which will get you on the air this week with your existing equipment. A little better antenna than the stock whip. The stock whips are negative two, negative three dB at best. Uh, if this gentleman has an improved whip, the SRX 320 is great. That will touch it. The, um, the Smiley 270A for a whopping $20. That's a collapsible metal antenna, but it's got a spring in the base. To protect your SMA connector or your BS connector, 20 bucks. It has a gain for you. Uh, the SRH320A from Diamond, it's 50 bucks. The Smiley at 20 bucks is a little bit better on two meters. Boy, when I worked for HRL, they hate to have me sell the $20 show. Uh, 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 there's no reason this, right? Because there's more profit than that $50 antenna than there is the $200 radio. This stuff is so custom. But, uh, you can build these. I have a tape measure Yagi instructions on my website. We literally, literally, have a Stanley tape measure. How are we out? Cut for two meters. Don't tell anybody. It works two meters for four. I don't know if it's because it's close to third harmonic or whatever. But that $12 in parts, PVC and, uh, and Stanley tape measure antenna that you use for BFing uh, will do the FM birds for you. Uh, I live in Riverside. I put that tape measure antenna on my handheld and I heard the weather station. 
in San Diego for the first time ever on a handheld radio. I mean, so it's got to be eight, nine, two games fun. somewhere in the middle. And yes, eight or nine, ten bucks for the park. And I was jumping in Santa Barbara and I saw you were holding a park. Cheap to make 